Now, possible E. coli contamination has led to a third company recalling some of its food products. A vegan chicken and bacon wrap, which is only sold at WH Smith, has been recalled by a manufacturer called This. It comes days after the Green Core Group and Samworth Brothers Mountain Wood recalled a variety of sandwiches, wraps and salads sold in major supermarkets. Joining me now is microbiologist Dr Sarah Pitt from uh, East Sussex. Sarah, thanks very much indeed for joining us. First, first and foremost, E. coli is pretty serious. Yes. So um, it's kind of a normal bacteria that lots of people have and lots of animals have in their normal, um, you know, in their normal feces. And we've been talking about E. coli quite a lot, haven't we, because of um, the faecal contamination, sewage contamination of water. But what we're looking at here is a special strain that's, that's kind of unusual and produces a toxin. And that is why people are getting so very seriously ill, because it's not like normal E. coli. It's actually much nastier than that. And without discussing the processes of these food companies, is it quite easy for it to slip through the net? Is it a hard thing to deal with? Um, yes, it can be because it's found in soil and water and so on. The contamination can happen at the time where the, the salad is actually growing. And if it's not washed thoroughly properly at the processing plant, then it can easily spread that way. The other thing that can happen is it can, can the contamination get, can get in to the processing plant itself. And so obviously, because it's bacteria, you can't see it, you don't know that the contamination is there. And because all sorts of um, sandwiches, wraps, salads and things, they're so common now that, you, that the pre-prepared -pre um, lunches like that sort of are so common we um one manufacturer might actually be supplying a lot of different um, companies and so it's actually quite difficult to get to the bottom of where these salad leaves actually came from in the first place yeah. because it's so widespread as we're seeing their cases all across the country well let's get into sarah just to finish off how we can protect ourselves from this because we've all lived through the pandemic we all remember to wash our hands or we certainly were told to uh, it's down to sort of personal hygiene choices that mean E. coli could be spreading even further than just the first person consuming that sandwich. Yes, that's right. So the thing is that if most normal or healthy adults will have diarrhoea, it could be very, very nasty. But what you don't want to do is spread it any further, as you say. So mm. the, the thing to do is follow very good hand hygiene and also don't go to work, don't go and visit your elderly relative or don't go and visit um, friends or family who have very young children because those are the most vulnerable here or all the time that you actually have diarrhoea in order to try and not spread it to, to any further to other people. That's right. But just finally, so is that happening? Is it spreading that way? People are forgetting they're being a little bit lax with washing their hands and not seeing people. I don't know whether we even have that level of information, really, but I suspect that it might have happened in a, in a few cases. Although, having said that... The diarrhoea that, that, that even normal healthy ad adults get is actually really rather nasty. So I suspect that people are probably just staying in bed and I hope drinking lots of fluids and trying to look after themselves um, and perhaps aren't well enough to go out and about, which is, which is good um, in terms of not spreading the disease. It's bad for them, but it's good in terms of trying to keep the, the disease under control. What we um, we because since we don't actually know the source of it yet, yes. um, we all need to take all precautions that we can. Certainly good advice, Sarah. Thank you very much indeed. That's Dr. Sarah Pitt, a microbiologist at Brighton.